So I'm sure all of you have seen ChatGPT. You can talk to it. Hello, how are you? And it talks to you. And it's, it's a pretty standard sort of chatbot interface. I'm going to show you how you can create your own sort of mini ChatGPT using Streamlit. So let's take a look at this. I have this actually running in Colab. So we're going to run a Streamlit application inside of Colab. I'm going to run this part to start with. This is going to install everything that I need and also obtain my OpenAI key, which comes from my secret store that you have here. Make sure you've put your OpenAI key in your secret store. If you want to use something other than OpenAI, you'll need to make some changes, although not too many because it's running in Langchain. So you'll just need to swap out the OpenAI driver for something else. So we'll let that run. That'll be done momentarily. And then we're going to run this part, which is our actual application. You can see here, it's not too long. And we will run it. It is just writing it to a file because Streamlit wants to execute that file. We're not actually running it in the actual notebook, so to speak. We're running it in the virtual machine associated with the notebook. We're going to also run my LLM util. This just abstracts the difference so that you can plug it into other, other providers than OpenAI. And here's the configuration file. So this is, used, this is using OpenAI. If you wanted to switch this to something else, you would just put in those parameters for other LLMs. Now they have to have an OpenAI or a Langchain driver, and many of them just emulate OpenAI, so you'll be using this one a lot. And here, by the way, is a configuration file that shows how to use Olama, OpenAI Bedrock, and also LM Studio, which are the main ones that I tend to that I tend to play with. So we've got that in there. Let's go ahead and also write our config file. We need to find out our address. This is our password to prove that we know what LLM this is running on. And here, we're going to actually run the Streamlit app and tunnel it out so that we're able to actually access it. And here you can see that's the standard interface for the tunnel. We put the IP address into there and it takes us through the tunnel and now we're in our application. And now we have a chatbot, we can talk to it. Hello, how are you? And it responds, and I can say, and this is talking to GPT 40 Mini. My name is Jeff, and we can just go on and have this whole conversation. It's anything that it outputs is actually in Markdown, and Streamlit displays the Markdown just fine. Write a Python program to do a loan calculation. Not being really specific there, but it's going to write some Python code. Whenever you don't give it clear requirements, it just goes ahead and uh, fills them in as it sees fit. So you can see the Python code there, properly formatted in Markdown and other Markdown here. All this is for free, just from using Streamlit. So let's look at the code that we're actually making use of to actually go and do this. So we take in arguments. These are arguments from the command line. So you'll notice when I ran it down here, I said I configured server one. And then when I run it, I tell it to use server one. So if I was using this one, I could have multiples of these configured. And that's what I do when I, when I typically run this. So we, we get this. If, if you don't give it a server to run it, it gives you an error because it doesn't know what to do. And then we, this code here creates the requested chatbot because it's going to create the conversation memory. So it would have remembered that my name was Jeff as we had our conversation. We put our title in. And if there's no chat in the session state, then we create the LLM and, 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 and initialize it. Um, Otherwise, we get our messages back, and we that's how we remember the ongoing conversation that is going on. That's all stored in, in the state. So it's in the state, not necessarily in a, or not actually in a session. So if you click refresh, you're going to start all over with your conversation. 
the prompt says what's up and we we then proceed to build out that conversation where we're, we keep putting in the user and we also put in the assistant messages for what it's putting. And it, this just keeps building this whole chat conversation as we continue to use this application. And you can see we're adding these down as markdown. That way we get all the necessary formatting. The LLM utility that I have, this just loads that, L, that YAML file so that I can configure multiple providers, which are just Langchain drivers and the underlying connections to whatever is actually driving them. I just read the, the parameters in and attach those to it. That way I'm able to define it here. So the name is server one, and that's what you're gonna to refer to it as. This is the class that it needs to instantiate Model, that's just being passed on to, so all the rest of these are parameters. So we're passing that on to the, the model. I'm using a temperature of zero, so it's not gonna be that creative at all. And those are the two parameters that are given when we instantiate it. And then I give you the other types of models that you might wanna put in here. So thank you for watching the video. And if this was useful, please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on all my other AI projects and other parts of this class. Thank you for watching.